Hi, this is Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and I wanted to continue with my KonMari series for craft supplies and I believe a lot of us are struggling with paper scraps. <laughs> so I have my paper scraps in these acrylic drawers because my whole craft supplies is in some kind of acrylic drawers. If you want to see my setup, I will link my video below. Um, you can see everything in detail, but of course things change um, since I filmed that I have reorganized a little bit so some things have changed but so this is my drawer for Yeah, regular paper scraps like book pages ledger paper and various types of paper I guess um, and then I have this drawer which is paper scraps for um what shall i call it for like designer paper for paper pads these kind of things and you see there's too much and yeah while i do think the drawers are quite practical because i can get to everything quite easily i do think i have too much because i will never ever use all of this and same thing with with the second drawer i i know i won't use all of these so i guess i want to just um first well let's start like this <laughs> let me take this one away let's start off with this box let me just set this aside so this is the box i'm i primarily go to when I want to do collages and clusters and things like that and what always bothers me is that I have pieces in here that are very large like this or like these and they kind of hinder me when I'm looking for smaller scraps so what I think I will do is I will, well, actually I'm going to take everything out first because that's the Kamari method, right? You take everything out and put it into a pile. So we have a nice empty acrylic drawer, which I can just put in my closet. Right now. Okay. And so I had actually some comments that I received um, from the last video which I will link below as well declaring the ribbons I got some comments about well with craft supplies you can't really go by what sparks joy which would be the Kamari method but um, because you also have to think of what will I use in which projects that I have coming up I kind of get that but honestly why would I use papers or other materials in my projects that don't bring me joy so i will use the same concept uh, for this kind of uh, decluttering even if it's just material and and, and, and things i will use um, but i do think that everything i use for my project should bring me joy because then as a whole the project brings me joy now maybe not everybody agrees with this but that would be my my um, take on this and so what I will do first is I will go through everything and see what does not bring me joy see if I can get rid of any of this actually because I am not sure so maybe all of it brings me joy and then I'll have to I guess categorize things um, I'll have to think of how to best categorize this and then see how to move on from here <laughs> okay so what I will do is I will put on, maybe on the right, everything I want to keep that sparks joy and on the left, everything that does not, that I will either find another project for or um, just discard. Um, by the way, speaking of discarding, in my last video, I was showing the ribbons I was getting rid of, but I did not specify, of course, I'm not just throwing them out. I'm going to be donating them and I will check the best place to donate them. If I find nothing else, then I will give it to Goodwill. 
but maybe there's a school or, or some other crafty place I can donate them to. So I would never just throw them out because I did get that in the comments. I did not explain that, so sorry about that. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um, obviously, I have put some things in the discard or no joy pile that you would have probably loved and you were cringing that I threw away. But please keep in mind that um, everybody has their own reasons for getting rid of things. And sometimes it's just that you've seen enough of a certain thing or you have so many more of them that you don't need that you know you have a lot more than you will ever be able to use some of these i will not be throwing away i will um just put them actually i should put it here because i will keep that somewhere else um yeah like like these kind of book pages i have so many book pages and these are the kind i don't really like this dark color and they will completely tear once you fold them so it's i don't like them they don't make me happy yeah this as well i know a lot of you would probably cringe that i'm throwing this away but i i don't like it i don't like it so please don't judge about what what someone might discard even though you would not so this is a lot more that i'm getting rid of than i actually anticipated so that makes me happy so I'm going to put this somewhere else now. So now this is the pile that I have to deal with. And I think what I will do is I will start um, separating into different categories because I see here I have a lot of different things and they don't really all belong in my scrap pile. So I will first start off by taking away all of these um, what do you call these? Like tissue paper kind of papers. From miles away, you're the girl who makes me feel this way. Okay, so these I will need to worry about. I will worry about these later because I need to find another solution for them. They do not go in my scrap drawer. That's not the correct place for them. But at the moment, I don't know where. I will revisit this a little bit later. Next, I want to sort out any, um, like any, I guess, any images and papers like these that are actually different kind of paper scraps. They actually go in my other drawer. So I will quickly do that. And also these kind, they're, they're not scraps. They need to be somewhere else. Okay, these will go into my pile with the scrapbook paper or in the drawer with my scrapbook paper. These here, I will need to find a solution for. We'll deal with these later as well as these because these are not paper scraps. These are like miscellaneous papers. They don't go in here either. So let's take those away for now. So this is what I have left, which is substantially less already, and I'm loving that. Um, what I think I will now take or split up is book pages, which are quite large, because those are not the kind I will probably use for collages and things. 
So this is where it gets a little more difficult. So I'm going by what would I grab if I'm going to be using scraps. So as I said, I would be using scraps for collaging, for other kind of clusters, for maybe um, some snippet rolls, things like that. So these are all, um, these are all uh, projects where I need small pieces, right? And if I have to go through the larger book pages, then that just annoys me because then I can't see the rest. So that is my reasoning. Yes, I can also, of course, tear the book pages, but I have enough small pieces here. Why would I need to tear up the big ones? So these are all bigger pieces that will be in my way. This here actually needs to go to the image because I copied this because of this bird image. These map pieces are also bigger. I will put those separately because I do have some map pieces in another drawer. It's, it, the difficulty is where do you draw the line, right? What, what is the size of the, oh, this doesn't go here. What is the size of the paper where you still leave it because it's a scrap? Or where do you put it somewhere else because it's too big to be a scrap? <laughs> this, this is not easy. We're pretty good here. These aren't scrap pieces either. These are pieces I would use to make something, right? So they're not scraps. Scraps are for me pieces that I will tear up into smaller pieces or that are already small enough to use in projects. These basically aren't scraps either, either, right? So I would make something out of these. I would not tear these up. So they need to go somewhere else. Of course, the question is this somewhere else pile. What, what are they? This one, would I tear it up? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> these are a hard decision, guys. <laughs> okay, these are book pages. They don't, they don't go in here. This neither. Now this newspaper is quite big. It's 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 Egyptian, um, and I have it because I want to because I like the Arabic font. And this is something I would definitely tear up, but it's big, so it will annoy me. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna tear tear it now. So that it's not as big. Okay. Would I tear these up? Yes, I would. Map page goes to the other map pages. And this is actually a sheet for, for the oven. <laughs> so this doesn't go here at all. Okay, I do have another drawer for book pages, which is also overflowing. <laughs> so I will put these aside and, or actually I will put these in my drawer with the book pages. And that is something I will also have to go through because I have way too many in there. I know I will never ever use all of them. So that's another thing I need to go through. Okay, this is what I'm left with. And now the question is, am I happy to rummage through this when I'm looking for scraps? And I think this is quite good. So I will take my acrylic drawer back and I will put the pieces in. So 
So your might needs be completely different than mine. Maybe you do different things with your scraps or you use a lot more than I do, but I really don't use that many and I feel I'm always adding, but I'm not hardly ever taking as many, even if I specifically have projects to use up some of my scraps, there's always way too many scraps to use up. So rather than this just overflowing and making me unhappy, this is something I can work with. So I'm trying to show you, it's, it's really not a lot, which really makes me happy. So these are pieces that I think I will use because I like them, I enjoy them, and that will make my collaging a lot easier, I believe. Okay, moving on to <laughs> this, um, this drawer here, which is also full of scraps. This is gonna take a little bit longer, I believe, but I think I need to do the same thing. So I will take everything out and there's a lot more in here i have a feeling or or let's say there's a lot more a lot more smaller pieces in here and i used to categorize them also by by size so i so if i needed a certain size i would know which bag to grab so i had them in little plastic bags but Honestly, I don't use them like that. So, oh boy, this is kind of overwhelming, I must say. So I have some here that are in bags. These are separate because, oops, there's some that are wrong in here. Because these are left over from card making. I used to make a lot of cards. And so none of these have any, any designs on them. They are one color, but honestly, yes, there, of course I could make a lot of things out of these, but oof, I don't think I ever will. I need to think about this one. These are some embossed um, papers. So yeah, these I would definitely want to keep and I think I do want to keep these separate because they are a different category. So these I'll tackle differently. These, see, these shouldn't be in here. These are again maps. Oh dear. So these should have been actually somewhere completely different. I will just pile them onto everything else because I'm already overwhelmed. So. Let's just keep going. These are obviously, ah, uh, I know, I had these at the office <laughs> in case I needed to make a card quickly or something, something that I wanted to give to, to a colleague. I had some pieces that I could easily work with that were pre-cut and pre-stamped and pre-punched and everything. Um, so I had those there. And I used quite a few of these, so I was so happy to have them. But those days are over and yeah, I'm just gonna dump them because I think I'll get rid of most of these. And then these are something, <laughs> these are left over from my art journaling days. Um, these are things that I would use as a background because they had nice texture. So these are like plastic strips. Um, I, I don't need any of this anymore. Well, I don't know if I'm, I still make some art drawing collages. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm never gonna use these. So, hmm. I think I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. Anyway, so I need to do the same thing as I've done before. So left will be my discard pile and on the right will be my keep pile. And uh, let's see how much will be left over at the end. 
So this, this, oh, obviously this is a full map. This needs to go to the maps. This is different. All right, let's start this. Wow, so this result surprises me a lot because this is my keep pile. Actually, please don't go here. Um, so this is my keep pile. Look, this is really not a lot. And this huge pile, which is like four times as high, is my discard pile. Now, when I say discard pile, um, again, I'm not throwing this away. I will uh, maybe punch some things out and um, add some things to some Happy Meals. But the point is also, you know, I don't want to add things to Happy Meals that I feel are not me anymore because my taste has changed a lot in the last year or two and it will make me more conscious about what I buy in the future because obviously I've bought a lot that I'm now not using anymore. And so this will hopefully teach me to be more careful about what I buy. And uh, I will try to think of things to do with some of these at least, um, not all of them. Some of them I will just give to Goodwill. So this is what's left and the point is that each and every one of these scraps, when I look at them, they bring joy. They make me happy. And so if I have all of these in a box and I always have this, for example, here, and I have the ones that I love, well, I'm never going to choose this because I always have other pieces that I love more. So why should I have this waste my space and make me anxious about the amount of things I have. So I would rather have the pieces that I have, let them shine and let them be beautiful and let them be used. I think that makes a lot more sense to me. This one actually I'm just keeping now because December daily is coming up and this looks like something I could use for that. So that will go to my December daily box, which I haven't opened since last year, so that will be fun as well. Okay, so this is what goes back. Well, no, the question is, do I sort it any other way? I mean, now there's really not a lot left, so I could just leave them as they are. I don't see the point in separating them by size. I tried that and that was not useful. The only thing that I could imagine what would make sense is to categorize them maybe by colors. But I've also tried that and I know that, I mean, with this amount, it's easy to find what I need. And also I know that when I have new scraps, I'm usually too lazy to put them back into the categories. So there's no point really because then it gets mixed up again anyway. So I think I will just take my drawer back out and put these scraps in. Now the only question is what do we do with these? So these I think I will just keep separately in a bag. These were the ones that are embossed. Um, yeah, because I don't know, I don't like having the plastic bags in here, but then again, hmm, yeah, I will leave them separate because if I need something embossed, then I know I just have to grab this bag. This one here is a lot harder to deal with, but you know what? I'm going to do the same method with these because I can already see there's some colors that I would never ever use again 
not for cards either so I will just have to go through the same method but look how empty oh my god this makes me happy less supplies makes me happy <laughs> I just have too much and um, I can't deal with it anymore I have to get rid of it and use the things I have okay so why don't I just put these somewhere else not keep okay and again the pile that I'm getting rid of is a lot bigger than the pile of what I'm actually going to keep and that makes me so happy actually these I don't need either the white ones these white strips I want to keep Oops, sorry, here you are. <laughs> I want to keep because I think these are good for stamping something on and using in, in projects. But some of these, like the gold ones, they're shiny and whatever I stamp on it um, takes forever to dry and will usually smudge. So I don't want to deal with that. So off they go. Yep, so this is all I'm keeping and I will just put these. Nope, that won't work put them back in here does it make sense to keep them separate from these I guess it does okay perfect this makes me happy really really happy so these go away okay so here is the dilemma I'm facing remember these papers that we took out at the beginning, the, um, the tissue papers and the gift wrapping papers that I wanted to keep. So I have this drawer here, which is only for tissue paper. I don't know what is this doing in here. Um, yeah, so this is only tissue paper, but this is almost, this is used actually, I'm never gonna use this. Um, I believe this is all unused. Well, this obviously isn't. Okay, except these. <laughs> all of this is unused, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check that. Yes. So all of this is unused. So that makes sense to be together. But now for the used ones. The question is, what will I do with these? If they're used... I obviously can't use them to wrap things like for nice happy mails and stuff. It doesn't look good if it's wrapped in something used because you will immediately see that it's used. But then again, we are junk journalers and we don't want to throw these things away because this is something I can definitely use maybe to make pockets out of or something else. So this is something that brings me joy and I don't want to throw away. So maybe I'll just mix this drawer and have used and new ones because I'm definitely not starting a new drawer just for used <laughs> um, tissue paper so this I probably will never use let me just see yes this is beautiful this I can use I'll just reevaluate if I really want to keep all of these this is just beautiful. This obviously dragonflies. This maybe I'll get rid of. Yeah, this I'll get rid of. This is absolutely beautiful. As well as this, it makes me happy. As well as this beautiful paper and this. So this will be their new, new home. I don't know how practical the solution is but um, we'll, we'll see so at least they have a home now and it makes more sense keeping them here than with my scraps and then lastly this is my drawer for mostly book pages um, not completely I think there's also I think the maps and music 
pages in here. Yeah, we got the maps, book pages, music paper. But I do also have book pages in another drawer. So oh, this is too full. This is way too full. I can hardly close it or, or fit it in my cabinet anymore. So this needs to be decluttered, but at another time. So for now, I'm gonna add these book pages that I have decluttered from my scraps and try to shove this back into my cabinet. And uh, we'll deal with this another time. So I hope this inspired you to go through your scraps. I think we all have too many of them. Um, I'm, I'm, I know I'll never even use even half of mine, so I don't feel bad about getting rid of them. On the contrary, it makes me be able to breathe again. And um, I love when everything is not stuffed full. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.